when you experience something like that like any sort of exploitation or abuse in the arts and like it really had it impacts every single part of your life and I used to just feel like I'm an alien and no one else has experienced this and I don't even know how to like I don't even have the language to try and find other people who have experienced this do I even want to find other people who have experienced this you know you know and I but then I was kind of trying to come at it from from the angle of like I don't want my art to be affected by something someone else put on me and I wonder how I can reclaim that feeling of like how your art can make you feel like your actual self like I can feel like a bit of a chameleon sometimes in social groups and my art makes me feel like me do you know and I was I was just and it's still an exploration you know like what would happen if we pulled together people who felt similarly to that with similar experiences and we get together and we have conversations where we might not even discuss any of our experiences of, of abuse in the arts but we understand that we've been through that and that it affects every aspect of our lives and we we just try to focus on like a lot of the time we'll talk about like what's our favorite album we've listened to recently that made us feel class or like how do we what's the best where's the best place to put rage like it's not a space that's like let's turn something awful into something great because that can be really toxic but it's like how like this is something I've experienced I didn't choose to experience it but I have experienced it so now what and my what what has helped me is creating this community of people who also feel like that 